What's up, everybody, and welcome back to some more Gray Zone Warfare for part two of the Let's Play. Last time, pretty much got our, our feet wet, uh, exploring the areas, going out into the first town, the Nam Thaven, and uh, getting part of the first task complete. Today, we're going to try to go ahead and finish this one up since it looks like it actually gives you the coordinates for the location, so we're going to find that. Also, I'll kind of give a quick rundown on what you get for the standard edition and what you get for the upgraded versions, which I do have the highest edition, but honestly, you don't really need it because a lot of this stuff is really cheap regardless, and I'll explain that in just a second. But if you enjoy this video, leaving a like on it makes a huge difference. If we get that 20, 30 likes, I'll go ahead and record some more episodes and try to get these out. Because so far, I'm I'm really digging the game. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm looking forward to playing some more. But as a quick rundown, so if you get the standard game, you pretty much get everything that I currently have in my inventory right now, except for this I this lockbox. But if you look in your inventory, you get everything that I currently have up until about this point. Anything underneath here is all the upgraded additions. The upgraded versions but to be honest you don't really need it because you start out with ten thousand ten thousand dollars and if you go to the vendor here things are pretty cheap i mean you can buy a new helmet for 600 you can buy new guns for a thousand there's a lot of stuff here that you really don't need the extra stuff but i knew long term i'd be definitely playing this game for quite a while so far personally it kind of feels a lot more like arma than anything to for myself um i have played tarkov in the past but what i really like is the dynamic aspect of selecting location going to it dropping in going to do your objective and then once you're ready to go you head back to the lz it takes you back to the base literally no loading screens no anything and you are good to go um we haven't ran into any other players but probably because they are in their towns probably searching around when eventually we go to like sawmill and these areas we'll probably run into them but for right now i'm really just gonna go uh call in lz or call in the the helicopter to take me to the lz and then uh we'll, we'll take it from there so but yeah really enjoying it um i said it last time but most it seems like most people are having issues with performance a bit for me, there's a little bit of hiccups here and there, but aside from that, it's Raven, been running end. like fine. Uh, so on average, I'm getting about like 85, 90 frames, maybe drops down to like 70 at times. I have a 3080 Ti and i7 12th gen and 32 gigabytes DDR5 and then an NVMe SSD that this is loading on. So just for reference, that's what I have. Um, two complaints. I said it at the end of the last episode, saying it again here for anybody that might pop into the second one. Uh, there is no toggle aim just yet, unfortunately. So that is a big uh, thing that I, I wish that they had on day one. And there's also no toggle lean. Let's hop on this. So those are, are two features or like keybinds that I absolutely wish that they had day one, but they don't. So uh, that kind of kind of hurts because it definitely slows down uh, having to hold Q and E and W or WASD all at the same time while also holding aiming down sights. Uh, it's a little, I mean, not the end of the world, but uh, hopefully we see that get it added at some point and the game is early access but I feel like the foundation here and everything that they have so far is a great start we'll see where it, where it goes but uh, uh, either way I'm, I'm excited for this you know what I just realized what we should have done beforehand should have checked the uh, coordinates <laughs> before we go in and do, the, and do this objective, but that's okay. Let's uh, let's hang out here for a second. All right, so let's see what we got. So I wanna try to complete this task, which we have to get to this location and place the tracker on it. Now, 
It's 172117. That's the coordinates. So that's going to be 172 is over here. 117 going to be right about. Yep. Looks like right where Kron 23 is. So we'll, we'll probably head south. I'll head like south uh, west down here to 172117. And we'll try to knock out this first objective. And then I haven't died yet. So <laughs> I'll do my best. Let's we'll see if we can complete a few other tasks. And I'm curious if more tasks pop up um, as you complete these. I would, I would hope so, but I guess we'll see. I have been shot a few times, so I haven't like taken a ton of damage. The only thing that I've really had to do was take a painkiller because we were shot uh, and bruised in the chest the one time. Aside from that, we've been doing pretty good so far. But I, I really like how you can open up the map. You can see the coordinates for everything. You get quests or tasks to do starting out. It's not as like... It's not as blind as playing something like Tarkov is where you have to open up a map on your second monitor that people do anyways unless if you're that much of an expert in the game. I kind of wish that Tarkov had something like that built in. I know a lot of people have been going into the, uh, the single player mod for Tarkov. It's a whole separate thing. But um, at some point, I'm, I'm hoping to download it and, and do a video on that because I've never tried it before, really, at least the single player mod. I've done multiplayer before, and it's just never really clicked for me that much, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm definitely more like on the mill sim or like tactical shooter side of things. I've definitely fallen more into like the Arma, the Reforger. There's definitely somebody around the other side of this. I'm getting shot. I'm getting shot. Unless if they're... God. All right, I'm running back. Hold. All right, I'm hurt. I'm definitely hurt here. Light bleeding. Okay. Let's use that, then let's use a bandage. Check the animation. I love how he's bandaging his arm, even though it's on the leg, that's fine. All right. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's, uh, how much does this give me? Plus 75. I can let my energy go down more. So food increases your energy and drink, uh, replenish your hydration, obviously. Sorry, I, was, I was yapping a lot there, so I lost not paying attention or looking out for these guys what what is this it is food oh okay you know what I'll keep it for right now I'll take the magazine too I won't take the gun But yeah, on, on the mil, mil sim side of things, or like tactical shooters, I definitely fall more into the realm of Arma games and something like Ready or Not. Those are probably some of my two favorites I've ever really played. Tarkov is just... The other thing too with Tarkov is a lot of the... Uh, the loading times for those games are, are rough. Very rough, but that's enough. That's enough talking about them. Let's uh, let's get into this. Kind of just fill in the gap until we got to the uh, the little town here. All right, so I think the uh, 
that building that we're trying to get to is that one right there. Bunch of friendlies over in this area. That scared me for a second. A warehouse. Okay, we got some XP for that. Now, I wonder when they do the resets, if it's going to also, also reset your level and the tasks that you've completed so far. Ooh, that's a friendly that died. All right, there's nobody else in this building right now, so... Oh, there's the objective. Nice. Task complete. So we'll be able to hand that in next time. I think this might be close by 172118. Yeah, that's got to be really close. Yep. Water tower, I think, is right there. So let's try heading over there. It says that there's medical supplies at the bottom of the water tower. Or something along those lines. We just check that one more time. UNLRA medical supplies at the town's water tower. Yep, 172118. Okay, just making sure. I am just gonna ignore that guy. In case there's anybody else nearby. See, jump over here. And by the way, there there is a PVE mode and PVP. Right now we are playing the PvPVE mode. Um that's the, the PvP one. But I really don't see why why you wouldn't play the regular warfare mode. Because you're not going to run into PvP traditionally unless if unless if there's somebody literally from uh, here running, like they're spawning in probably right here and then they're running all the way down here. Unless if people are doing that, you're not really going to run into anybody early on. Now, later we'll probably get some new LZ points which will probably take us to like here or here or somewhere closer to these areas because then at that point it's becoming a little bit more dangerous um and if you couldn't tell I went the Mithras security systems faction there's Crimson Shield International and Lemang Recovery I'm sure there's plenty of people that already kind of picked that up, but you never know who's watching. Or there could be somebody getting introduced to these types of games for the very first time, or you missed out on the first video and now you missed it, or whatever the case is. Try not to sprint as much, like, <laughs> like Call of Duty or Battlefield. Alright, I'm not going to pick that up right now. There is a friendly... There's a lot of back and forth happening here. Okay. Those shots were definitely coming from these two guys. Convenience store. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I'm not sure if you have to get a flashlight as a secondary item or something, but right now I don't think we have one yet. But everything is daytime. So I think eventually they plan on adding a day night cycle, which will be pretty cool to see. I'll take that. 
Yeah, why not? RT, what is this? Tractable tourniquet. Ooh, I'll take these as well. It said one one seven two one one eight, but the water tower doesn't seem like it's over here. Was it one seven two one one eight? Yeah, one seven two one one eight. Unless it unless if the coordinates are just incorrect. One seven two one one eight. I think this one might be the water tower. One seven two one one six. Let me take a look. Now that's definitely an eight right there though. But I think the water tower actually is there. This is the convenience store, ma'am. Not a water tower. Guys hungry already. Okay. I'm gonna try moving there. Go, go, go. Just run. If I can spot the water tower, then uh, I'll know I'm correct, but I'm not sure if that actually is it. I know that I've seen it. Yeah, that's the building there. Hey. Yo, do you know where the water tower is? No? Okay. But is that it? Yo. What? Load friends failed. Uh, I can't click. Hello? Um. Oh, there we go. That's not good. That is not good. I pressed middle mouse button to get out of it, and that seemed to have worked, but... Oh, he left. Oh, here's the water tower. Okay, so it's actually 172119? Oh, I see. I mean, technically, it's 172118. I see. It's just at the other corner. Yeah, I was down here by the convenience store, but here's the water tower. Oh, okay. Oh no, I wonder if we lose everything then. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Reconnect. It's about to hit prime time. It is launch day in early access, so it might be having some issues. Let me, let me take a quick look here. Okay, yep, they are hitting prime time right now. And unfortunately, because I got disconnected, it seems like I lost everything that I had on me. So that is uh, part of early access and launches, unfortunately. Uh, although it's, yes, very unfortunate. Um, yep, we lost pretty much everything except for the stuff in my lockbox. So, 
Let me go ahead and grab a few things here. Now, I'm not going to bring everything this time around. You know what? Let's try one of these AKMs. Because why not, right? And then if I have a standard, like, yeah, tac tech, let's bring that. Let's go. I will wear some body armor because I'm sure this stuff's pretty cheap to bring with you. Throw on a belt here. I will bring a pistol as well. Lock. And then is there... How much are backpacks? Let's see. So if we say if we bought oh, a cheap backpack, 136 bucks. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Let's grab some bandages. Definitely bring some of these. I'll bring splints. One of these and some water. I think that's perfectly fine. And I'll even keep the magazines in here. Actually, nah, that's fine. We'll be good. Let's see. Let's do an inspection of this gun. God. <laughs> uh, yeah, this thing looks like it might be a little rough, but... Hey, that's fine. I'll, I'll, we'll give it a test. Give it a test trial. All right, so we're going to head over to... Yeah. Raven, wheels up for base camp. We're going to go to that water tower, which it looks like it dropped connection, so I might have not gotten it. Raven here. Did that task complete at least? It did. If I go to this guy, complete. Yo. Oh, you guys gotta keep your stuff? I lost all my fucking shit. Yeah, I lost everything too. Fuck. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow you guys and pick up some guns. We're going in. Alright, is this even gonna fit everybody? <laughs> Alright, cool. Strap in, we're heading out. Hey, we're embracing it together. Embrace the suck together. He was working on. Yeah, I should go back to that guy and pick up any other stuff. We're dropping in. There's the water tower. Now, if we get disconnected another time, then I might I might end up calling the video there, but we'll we'll see. I saw the uh, so right before I uh, like when I paused and then tried to load in again, I checked the Steam player count. It's currently at the time of this I uh, about to hit forty eight thousand players, so. And it hasn't hit like peak afternoon just yet, so I'm expecting that to, to hit later on today. But we'll see. Alright, we'll be one of the first ones to go in. <laughs> Bray! Look at this man. <laughs> He's got a knife on him. God. Oh, that's that's hostile. Are you kidding me? Get him. Get him. <laughs> oh, no, I'm trying not to shoot him. Nice. 
Dude, I am. Good thing I'm, I'm cut above. <laughs> I'm hurt from that light bleeding. Okay. Bandage. Damn, that is a tiny gun right there. He threw off the baseball cap. How's this gun looking now? Chambers empty, magazine empty. All right. Pretty sure I brought another one. I think page up and page down helps you zero. Uh, maybe not. You might not be able to do anything on this gun too. All right, there's another guy up there. Yep, it's friendly. Get back, or back over to the water tower. Nobody right here. Fence. All right, cool. This time I actually got the XP for the water tower. Uh, there's going to be medical supplies here somewhere. All those shots are coming from these guys, without a doubt. Unlock, what's that one say? NT. Oh God. That's a, that's a hostile, right? Yep. That is a hostile. Yep. There's the medical supplies. Sub, sub objective complete. All right. Now we just got to deliver it back there. Um, Where's the other one? 170, 116, and this one is deliver. Let's actually go back. I'll make this one quick and easy. Civilian gauze. Friendly guy. All right. Yeah, let's actually go extract. Um, I want to go deliver this and then see if we can pick up any other quests, potentially, any other tasks. We're questing right now. We're, we're doing our dailies, okay? <laughs> I'll be one of the first ones in and first ones out. But then I'll try doing the other tasks um, for the other guy, too. Which the, the other ones that we have available now are really just visit the X locations. It's pretty easy. Bravo two. That's a little exhausted already. Yeah, I, I saw the, um, so just to give you guys like a heads up too, 
while I'm, I'm recording this, I saw the Steam reviews, and it seems like a lot of people are having issues. Um, I mean, I, I've been telling you guys my... Negative. The destination oh, wait. Is in your immediate I need to vicinity. call it for base. been telling All you guys right, my settings. I, I really haven't changed anything since we loaded into the game, and we've been getting a solid, like, 85, 90 frames. Every once in a while, definitely, you can see it as well, that there's some light hiccuping or stuttering or, like, getting caught up in some sort of loading. But for the most part, I think that it, it's definitely playable. There's, there's games where I've played before that have had much worse performance on early access release um so i guess we'll see there, there's definitely gonna be optimization issues and all that for a bit and hopefully they're able to, to figure things out but yeah it also makes you wonder like what kind of hardware other people are running in because that's that's the biggest problem with releasing games on pc is there's so many different options for hardware there's so many different avenues and different issues that like even if two people have the same exact setup if one single thing is different from the other um it can cause drastically different experiences and issues so i don't know i'm not an expert in all that i'm not gonna ever tell you what is right or what is wrong but i will show you my experience and give you feedback on that that's pretty much what i do as far as let's plays go because at the end of the day that's all i'm doing let's play <laughs> and a little bit of feedback all right going back to base hit level two Yeah, this, this gun was definitely a little rough. <laughs> I could swap it out, or I could just... You know what? I'm going to roll with it. Yeah, I'm... I am going to roll with this gun, mainly because... Uh, server issues or anything like that, I, I want to try to, you know, not lose my entire loadout to disconnection. So... And that's fine. It gives us a chance to test out a different gun. Now, I, there might be modifications for this one, so I can try to take a look. Uh, maybe we can do that real quick before we go back out. But I don't want to spend, like, too much cash. All right, so you really don't have to run anywhere, but I, I like going inside because it's a little bit quieter. Like, when you land, I think you have full access to the base. You can just talk to your vendors and hand stuff in. Yep. So this guy's got a new one. Mark the location of the body. So he's got a new job. We can go ahead and hand this over. Complete. So he's got a new one. Find Kanoa Cinerath. The clerk in the local construction shop and was last seen during the final stages of the evacuation. We're going to try to do this one, though. Check the demolished building. And then we can do the rest of those. So, if I inspect this... All of this is attached to it. Let's see, there's a muzzle, device, stock, receiver, handle. Uh, whoops, vendor. Okay, so Gunny has some stuff for this. Say, can I put like a scope onto this? Like, Nobody wants to hear this. 
What is this considered? I guess that's the, yep, that's the rear. Item not co compatible. So one thing I, I really liked about the, um, see. item not compatible. There's a game that I played recently that showed all the compatible stuff when you go to the inventory. Um, Incursion Red River. You could select a gun, and then after you selected it, you'd be able to say, okay, show me, right-click, show compatible items. And then from there, <clears throat> you can actually scroll through and see. It would only show items that are compatible, actually, with it. So she doesn't have anything there. All right, let me go back to that. Where'd it go? And maybe there isn't anything compatible here. Maybe that, that might just be the case. Looks like a lot of this stuff here is more so for like, like the AR or the M4A1. This is shotgun. Yet G17 side, Titan side, ACOG. I could always just throw one of those on, but the only thing is that... Yeah, you can't even buy these magazines here. Okay, yeah, you're definitely not supposed to customize. You're definitely not supposed to customize the AKMs. <laughs> Unless if it's stuff that you find out in the open. Which is fine. Um, Alright, well, let's, let's go ahead and... Let me see if it does the same thing if I take one of the M4s. So let's go inspect. So this shows all the compatible items here that I have. So if you buy an item and it's in your locker, you can see what's compatible with it. But if you're looking at it from this aspect, you can't really see. This is 2K, damn. <clears throat> okay. That kind of makes sense. We'll we'll stick with this for right now. Let's try going out here and doing this. So these don't tell you where it is, but they do at least give you. Let me grab the tracker that he gave me. Um, where do you put it? I don't think you can search through your inventory either. Here it is. Let me throw that right there. I wonder if you can even buy these, this ammunition. 762? Um, uh, M80. 76251, is it the same? If I go back here. Thirty nine. No, you can't even buy that ammunition. Alright, that's fine. Take a quick look again. One in the chamber, 27 in the magazine. We've got a full two extra magazines here. All right, so last task for this guy was 170, 116. The 170, 116 going to be like down here. Yeah, it'll be in this little area. I'm going to guess that it's probably this red building. Let's go Bravo 1. Raven dispatched. Moving to base camp. We'll drop in there, and then we'll just go south. Or I mean, Ready northeast. I'm on my way. 
a little bit. ETA, three zero seconds. Completed this objective. Nice. Why didn't this person message me? I wonder how, how you get that logo there. I'm not sure what, what uh, gives you that next to your name. Unless if I have it too. So many good screenshots. All right. So I think if it lands on the left side, it goes to Bravo one. And if it lands on the right side, it goes to uh, Bravo two. A lot of people always drop in at Bravo two though. I still love how dynamic this is. It's so cool. Not a single loading screen, not a single waiting for matchmaking, spawning in, just load, find a match, or find a, a server, load right in, you are good to go. All right, let's get over there. This is where I initially spawned in the first time. All right, so it's got to be one. Wait, was it 170, 116? Wait. Yeah, it was 170, 116. Um, we can take a look at this building. Sure. Uh, those shots, I think, are coming towards me. So there is nobody else around here. You can't climb over this fence, apparently. Looking for the slightest of movements. Take a look what's in here. All right, somebody else is landing. Oh, I see somebody right there. I don't know. Sometimes I even question how I see them. I saw him like, yeah, there's somebody else right there too. And right there. <laughs> I don't know how I see them. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Oh, one headshot, two headshots. Damn. The accuracy though. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, that's not friendly. Three headshots. Damn, we're dropping them. Oh no, oh no. I'm moving back. Oh, that's a bathroom. Damn. No way. <laughs> Man, I was feeling so good about that too. I yeah, I was, I was getting way too greedy. To be honest, let's be real. I was I was being way too greedy right there. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, let's just go in. Let's see if I can actually get my stuff back. Let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. Oh, stuff that you put in your pockets too. 
you keep. I think we could do Bravo Bro, your 3. head's missing. Do you have Bravo 3? Uh, I don't think so. I think you're just blind. I don't you know, have maybe I am. Yeah, but I think yeah, it's just I, think it's just I, I can call it in and you can come with me. Um, That's crazy. That'll be the closest to helicopter. Do you, wait, do you have any equipment on? And then... No, I I, well, I can't do anything right now. Ah, uh, okay. Task. I'm just going to fly There's in the town hall. <laughs> Okay, so three is your knife. Where the town hall is. Oh, uh, okay, right here. Okay, so then, yeah, we just traveled. One sixty nine. Oh, station. Oh wait, that's actually going to the other one. Yeah, it's going to L two. Oh wait, this is the right one. Never mind, that is the right. Yeah, I was confused. Okay, maybe it doesn't it doesn't matter where it goes. So if I die here, well, if I die I'd lose it. But at least I have my gun. I know I died somewhere around here, so if I if I am able to grab my stuff though, then I'm just gonna throw this pistol into my lockbox and the magazine. It is kind of funny seeing so many people go in with just the knife. They're like, all right, I'm just going in with nothing. I don't want it. <laughs> First death, though. Not too bad. All right. Oh, is he going to a different one? Wait, did he drop off? Oh, he did. Oh, yeah, he's going a different way. All right, see if I can get my stuff back. Well, this will this will be a good test to see if you're uh, how long it remains in one area or not. I know I I think it might have actually been right here. Man, if I if I wow, it is right here. Wait, that's my body. That's what I look like. All right, is there a way of like fast equipping everything? Wait, why do I have so many? Yeah, the backpack's so cheap. You might as well just. That's kind of cool, though. So that's what I look like. That's me in another life. All right, let's grab this gun again. One in the chamber, 13 left. Okay. Reload this. Try to see if we can uh, get to 170, 116. All right, let's just move up. I was dropping them for a while until I got dropped myself. Check the demolished building. Is there anybody here? No. I'm running. I'm running. 
on the cover. All we have to do that is get there too. Motel. Slow it down just a little bit. So the other tasks don't actually tell me where they're at. Got to be in this area still, though. We're not getting over here. The bathroom. All right, let me just make sure. 70 116 um i guess it's this one oh no okay it's got to be that so yeah basically got to find this track there somewhere here in this little area oh there it is yep found it Oh, go. Go quick. Jeez. Demolished building. Task complete. Awesome. That wasn't friendly, right? Nope. different pistol that is not friendly right there oh boy there's a lot of them oh no i'm running i'm running come on jump over whoa that was weird uh use this Then G, H. Maybe you need to put them into your pockets. Medium bleeding. All right, let's see if a bandage kills that at all. We're losing blood. A little dizzy right now too. Oh boy. Okay. Treated medium, okay. So that that helps light. Let's see if I use one more of these. If it gets rid of the dizziness at all. No, it does not. All right. So there's something else that would get rid of the dizzy. I don't know if using one more. Let's see if it gets rid of. So it's it's red right now. Let's see see if we use one more bandage if it turns it this again nah it doesn't okay I think that's as best as we're getting right now all right it might be time to try to let's actually try extracting let's try I could stick around longer but let's just try to get out of here We can hand in this task, pick up anything else, and then we'll ha we'll have to read over the new tasks anyways. Mm. 
that's weird. You can see like the veins in the corner. Alright, we need to go that way. We call in a extract. I can really, I can really see this being like intense if you, uh, once you start getting to the other locations, like once you get to like this fort or the sawmill or either of these, and then now you're like, okay, are we being shot out by friendlies or not? I can see that being a, a pretty good time having to, to go out there. Blue Lagoon is, our demons is all the way out here in Blue, Blue Lagoon. And that's that's where I feel like a lot of it, the like best gameplay is going to happen in these areas where you're not only going to have NPCs but also potentially run into some uh, pretty well equipped other players or other factions. I wonder if or it'll be cool to see if there's going to be anything else for the factions. Besides just choosing, like, one side or the other. All right, looks like the dizziness went away, too. Get ready. We're moving out. Dropping in. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's get inside real quick. and quiet. Alright, let's uh, grab the task here. Which one was it? Complete. And a new one available. Find the crashed helicopter north of the gas station. Okay. We know where that is actually. Well, the gas station. So gas station's right here. It's gotta be... So now these don't actually tell me where they're at. Collect those rewards. Apparel. Oh, we got a new outfit. Tactical t-shirt. That's my windows telling me that there's an update. <laughs> That'd be cool if, it, if they added like tattoos or something. Rock the t-shirt like that. What else do we got? So... If we go to tasks now, I just want to take a look. We got the crashed helicopter one. Several. He is a clerk in the local construction shop and was last seen during the final stages of evacuation. Remember, we're not just searching for answers. We're offering to help those left behind waiting for news. Uh, waiting for news. Our effort can bring them solace. So you need to find this guy. So you want to go to the construction shop, which I'm not sure if I found that one. I'm guessing it might be over here somewhere. We found convenience store, warehouse, motel, gas station. Let's see what else. This one is mark the body. Have another job. We lost some men during our retreat. So many un unaccounted for. We owe it to them. 
and their loved ones to give them a proper farewell. Soldier in question was la in question was last seen getting gunned down in the backyards around Town Hall. So I know where that one is too. That's right here. Cool. Well, we know where all those are. I got to actually go do some stuff. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it. Let me know if you got any suggestions. Uh, if we hit that like 20, 30 like goal, I'll go ahead and pump out some more videos uh, of this. But I'm probably going to do that anyways because I'm enjoying this. And I'm hoping that one of my buddies picks it up because then we can do some co-op and runs. But we'll see. I might, I might end up doing some streams this weekend of this too. We'll see. But for now, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Join, join the Discord if you want announcements for every time I go live. And uh, that's going to be it. So see you all next time. Peace.